Welcome to a video summary of the Sony BDP-S6700 Blu-ray player. You can read the full in-depth review by link in the description, or by clicking the info button top right of the screen. This is one of Sony's highest end players for 2016, and features support for 3D video, scaling up to Ultra HD 4K resolutions, and SACD playback. The suggested retail price is £150, although it's already available for less online. The casing is a mixture of mostly metal and some black plastic, and features a tray loading disc mechanism which is reasonably quiet, but the overall build quality is nothing special. At the front of the device are power and eject buttons, along with a USB port for media playback. The power button has a green light to denote when the unit is powered up. At the rear the remaining connections, including HDMI 1.4 and LAN ports, and a coaxial digital audio out. There's also built-in dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth included. The supplied remote is a good size for a Blu-ray player and features well-positioned buttons with an intuitive layout. The home screen layout is very apps orientated and there are a very good number of video streaming services to choose from, including Amazon, Netflix, of course, BBC iPlayer, Demand5 and Wacky. You also get access to the Opera App Store if you feel you need some more, but we found that a bit lacking in worthwhile content. The menu system has been given a bit of a makeover this year, but it's still reasonably user-friendly. We would advise making sure the option for 24p playback was activated for all sources for best results. Playback of all content was superb, but we're not sure how much value the 4K scaling adds if you already have a decent Ultra HD TV, and if that is the case, you may want to consider an Ultra HD Blu-ray player anyway. But the fact that it plays back Blu-rays perfectly, scales your DVDs extremely well, and also possesses a great lineup of streaming services, means the Sony BDP S6700 gets an AV Forums recommended award. You can read the full in-depth review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also see more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. Why not follow us on Twitter? And you could also like our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.